that same argument going on in American newsrooms all the time between and, and both sides are grounded in good journalism and trying to do good journalism. And one side sees this need to be objective, and the other side says you can tell more genuine stories sometimes through experience and through acknowledging that you are a person. And um, a point that I make to the journalists who argue for objectivity, which in some cases I have practiced and I recognize the value of, but I say, we're actually exercising opinions every step of the way. When you decide which story to do, am I going to do story A or story B, that's an opinion. This one's more important, more interesting, more timely, but it's an opinion. We call them news judgments, but they're opinions. Um, and then as you execute the story, you decide who are you going to interview and who aren't you. Because you, you, you only have so much time, you can't interview everybody that you could interview who might know something about this. And then you decide what goes in the story and what doesn't. What's the most important thing that I'm going to put in the lead? Am I going to put this on page one or is it going to go inside the newspaper? And each one of those is an opinion. And one of the reasons I know their opinions is I've had arguments about those with other objective journalists. The only reason why they would pay you a little bit more and when you get older, you're more expensive, uh, is that you can bring your own personality. Writing a piece is nothing. It's about something that's happening outside on the street. It's nothing. It's your point of view that makes it interesting for, uh, for your editor-in-chief, for your boss. So personal, personality counts. It's the most important thing for the journalist, for the program maker, for the one who's into media. Since we have learned that in an interview situation, you sit there and I sit here. Now suppose that we change the rules and that I sit next to you and I hold your hand. And then suddenly we have a completely different situation because you're not, at, at the moment you are not the one who is interviewing me. Suddenly we become a couple. And then we can share things. And that's something that I learned that sometimes it's easier to communicate with people when you behave in the way that you feel you should do it instead of uh, following the rules. There are no rules. Uh, the rules are there to be broken. And uh, you can only break the rules by your own judgment. Do what you think is best. Not what you think that your boss think is best, but what you feel is best. Average is the worst thing in, in, in media. Mm -hmm. Average is nothing, because it's everything. So you can only be different from others when you have your strong qualities brought into your message. Uh, to me, one of the more interesting exchanges at this conference was with um, uh, a Russian about the difference between journalism and propaganda. And her, her view was that when Pravda and Investia were, were around, the, the line, you know, there was no Pravda in Investia and there was no Investia in Pravda. There was no truth in the news, there was news in the truth. She said, but at least we all knew it was propaganda. At least we all knew where people were coming from. And so we could make judgments. Now, the pretense of objectivity and the reality of propaganda, <laughs> this, is the, this is the credibility uh, challenge. The citizens agree is dropping out because they're smart. They see it, you know. Now in America we're in this world where everything is on the air. You've got MSNBC on one side uh, in battle with Fox News o overtly, overtly. CNN supposedly objective, which was known as the Clinton News Channel. The, the truth will lie more, I think, in the, the people. They're, they're going to be able to see through this, maybe even more clearly than the journalists themselves. So I think the answer is getting closer to the people, being as honest as, as uh, the journalists can be about what they're trying to do to reestablish credibility.